Hello boys and girls, it's Christina here and today we are going to be talking about superheroes. Now we all have our favourite superheroes, maybe it's Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Captain America, or my personal favourite, The Incredibles. We read about them in comics and we see them in films. And maybe you wish that you were a superhero. Maybe you wish that you could do the things that your favourite superhero does. Maybe you wish you could fly, be invisible, read minds or run really fast. Sadly, however, we can't do any of these things. But there is a chapter in the Bible where we do read about heroes. These people we read about, they weren't able to fly or be invisible. Not your typical superheroes, but yet they are known to us as heroes. We read about them in Hebrews chapter 11 and we know them as the heroes of faith. You see, they were ordinary people just like you and me, yet they did some extraordinary things because they had faith in God. They believed in God when he said that he would do something, they believed that he would do it. And you know they had the courage to let God have control over everything that was happening in their lives. Who were these heroes? We read about them in Hebrews chapter 11 and we're going to look at some of them now. And if you have a Bible with you, it'd be great if you could look up Hebrews chapter 11 or get someone to help you as we go down through these heroes of faith and we see what they can teach us. One of the first heroes we're going to look at is a hero read about in verse 7 of Hebrews chapter 11. And that hero is Noah. We read there in verse 7, by faith, Noah. And you know, Noah, he made an ark when God told him to, even though it would have seemed very strange for Noah to do this. Yet he had faith, or he believed in God, when God said that he was going to send a flood to destroy the world. So he built an ark to save his family and others too, but yet no one listened. And you know, he had great faith in God when no one else around him believed in God. Noah did. He believed in God when God said he was going to send a flood. You know, maybe you're listening and perhaps you're the only one in your family who is saved. Perhaps you're only one of your friends who is saved. It's important too that you have faith in God and that you be like Noah and you continue to tell others all around you about their need of a saviour as well. Then in verse 17, we read about Abraham. And again, we read the words, by faith, Abraham. You know, Abraham, he was willing to give up his son, Isaac, even though God had promised Abraham that through Isaac, his family would cover the earth. Yet Abraham had the courage to let God have control. And he was willing to kill his son, Isaac, for he knew that God had a plan. Do you have that same faith that Abraham has? Do you believe that God is in control over everything that is happening? even though everything's going so badly wrong in the world today. I hope you too can be a hero of faith like Abraham. Then on down the chapter, in verse 23 to 29, we read about Moses, who was another great hero of faith. Through Moses, the children of Israel were set free from Egypt. God through Moses sent the 10 plagues, parted the Red Sea, gave us the 10 commandments and brought water out of a rock. Yet Moses was just an ordinary man like you and me. You know, Moses shows us that God can use us too to do extraordinary things if we believe that he can. And then in verse 32, we read of men like Gideon, Samson, David and Samuel who defeated armies, slew giants, killed lions. How? Because they had faith in God. You too can be a hero of faith. If you're a Christian, you can be a hero of faith. You don't have to go out and save the world, but you can believe in God. Have faith in the word of God. Believe that God will be with you, will help you in times of trouble, and will take care of you. But maybe for those of you listening who have not yet asked the Lord into your heart, you too can have faith in God. We read in Acts 16 verse 31, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. We have to believe. Believe that he can take away your sin. Ask him into your heart and he will give you salvation. And you too can become a great hero of faith and do extraordinary things for God. If we can be any help to you this time, please leave us a comment below or send us a message on Messenger. And we'll try our best to get back and answer any questions that you have. And especially if you're worried about your sin, we'll try to show you from the Bible how you can be saved. Thank you very much boys and girls for listening and we'll hopefully speak to you again really soon.